What's up ladies and gentlemen, it's Brennan and I'm Bman X 45 and today we're coming at you with another deck profile video uh, for the Digimon TCG. This will be my purple Chaos Gallantmon deck. Uh, this is a deck that I was really excited to build uh, as soon as I saw it was coming out. I just got into the game, I was building Shine Greymon, which was like the one I really wanted to build, but this was a close second. I really liked uh, Purple's graveyard abilities, uh, reminded me a lot of the things I used to do with certain um, decks in Yu-Gi-Oh that were my favorite. Um, so the whole trash abilities, um, getting stuff back from your trash, using your trash as part of kind of your combos was really cool to me. So uh, that's something I was really interested in. So we're gonna go ahead and get into the deck profile uh, and tell you what I like, tell you what I would change potentially. I've been testing this a little bit. I uh, haven't got to play as much as I want, but otherwise it's a really great deck. And honestly, this is one of the decks I have completed. I have all the cards I want for it. Even if I was to make changes, I have the cards to make the necessary changes. So that's really good because I'm not one who likes to build, uh, do deck profiles with a completed decks. I know I did that with my Shine Greymon and my, uh, um, my Imperial Dramon, but most of the stuff was kind of on the way or should be coming soon and stuff like that. But most of my decks that I will be profiling now will be completed decks. So that's really good. And I really like that. So without further ado, we'll get into it. Um, for our babies, we have two Gigimon, three Demi Mira. Um, I am a big fan of three and two. I feel like I like to not... You know, if unless the, the ability is really, really good, I, I kind of like to split it between the two because sometimes you just want that draw power and sometimes you just that extra 2,000 push is nice, especially late game when you've maybe drawn into a lot of stuff. So having like him come up, you know, having four and one him coming up first turn is like, eh, he's probably going to die. And then, you know, I don't have that 2,000 boost. So, um so yeah, I, re I really do like that whole split because the draw power is really great and it's really and it's more important, which is why I would run three of the Demi Mira and only two of the Gigimon. But late game, I feel like that coming up could be really good. And I feel like uh, when you get it off, you know, when you get this guy off first turn, it's like uh, stuff like that. So I feel like sometimes having a three two split is, is really good. And that's just my personal opinion. Um, professional players are probably like, no, that's bad. But uh, I like the 3-2 split, and so that's why I'm going with that. Uh, if it ever comes up that I'm, you know, not getting to stuff, you know, faster, then I'd probably just do it a different way. Um, and we got our, and we got our uh, monsters here. I'll just put those over there. Um, two copies of Tapirmon for your level threes. Uh, is a nice on deletion trigger draw, good off of the, uh, off of the summoning effects from the trash. Um, I don't think I need to play more than two of him. I just, I feel like two's enough because I don't want to see him in my hand. I want to, I want to get him into the graveyard uh, via trash effects. Um, so I got two of him. Three Candlemon for your standard two drop vanillas. Um, three Gabumon. Um, this is a card I could see going to four of um, just because the inheritable is really good. Uh, although I do have the Black War Growlmon, and that kind of makes Inheritables meh. So he's better off when you're going when you're using like a, a Skull Marimon to j digivolve with because he's going to stay there. Or if you don't need the Black War Greymon ability and you're not going to digiburst, then that's fine. Um, but yeah, so he's a trigger one, he's draw one, and then trash one, so he gets your trash uh, pool going. And then I have for Geomon, he is the one you want to summon and delete uh, off of the abilities so you gain memory off of him. So him or Tapirmon makes a nice little loop where you can get draws and memory. Um, but he's really important because he's your he's your memory buffer. Um, so you're mostly going to be wanting to see him hit the grave a lot of the time so that you can bring him back, um, pop him again, gain a memory and stuff like that. Or even just if you can't pop him, you have him on the field and you can attack with him and stuff like that. Um, so that's it. That's 12 um, for the level threes. Not a lot, but this deck runs a lot of cards anyways. We got that. Then on to the champions, level fours. We have four Marimon. Just uh, again, your one, one to evolve uh, level four vanilla. Um, and then you got your blocker, your 5k one to evolve blocker for of the uh, starter deck Demi, 
uh, Devimon. Um, I find in this game, like, 6,000 blockers are really good, especially with things like Nidhogg out there and stuff like that. But I, I do find a lot of the time your opponent can play around it. And a lot of the time, if they don't, if they're not worried about Nidhoggmon, they have a lot of Digimon level 5s that are over 6,000 anyways. So if you block, your your guy's dying anyways. So the one to evolve is just too good. And then I have two Devimon, uh, the Retaliation Devimon, which is really good because, again, you get him off of your abilities, your Omnimon's Wart, um, and stuff like that, and you get him to the field, say, with a... And then you can just crash into something and kill it, so... Really good there. Uh, ten, 10 champions. Uh, then we have our level fives, our ultimates. Got two Skull Miramon. I probably would like to see this at more, but I just don't have the space. Uh, two Chimeramon. He's amazing. And then the four Black War Gramon. He is so good. The Digi Burst 3 allows you to play a level three uh, from your trash without paying its memory costs. No effects activated, um, and he has the inheritable of you may delete one of your, when attacking you, you may delete one of your other Digimon to unsuspend this Digimon. So he gets you two attacks per turn and gets your your uh, abilities like like Tapirmon or um, uh, Geomon off. So that's really, really good. Um, really, really like this card. I feel like you have to play four, but it does uh, make it... Uh, a little bit difficult because I would like to play some other stuff. Like I would potentially drop two Miramon uh, to play uh, Black Growlmon because he has a really great inheritable too. He's got security, uh, security plus one. But uh, you're going to be digi bursting most of the time, so it's going to blow it away. So it makes it kind of hard to play uh, to play things with inheritables. Because uh, you're just going to be getting rid of them. But if you do get the Skull Marimon, that's why I like a wood. If I had the room, I would play like a third Marimon just so that I could get, uh, you know, so I have that other option, the two drop level fives. I mean, it depends how I like it. Like if I find like that this is that I don't need for this, I, what I might do is I might drop one of this for Skull Marimon and then play, uh, drop two Marimons for the... Uh, black Raumon. That that could be an option. I just haven't tested it enough to really decide whether I, if I need to stick with four or not. But we'll see. I, I'm a very I very much like uh, three copies of things. A lot of the time, I feel like you get a lot of good synergy when you have three and three. But then you don't see it as much, and that's the one thing. So eight ultimates. Um, would like to run more for the level sixes I'm playing, but I mean. It, it, you just don't have the room in this deck. But you do have the Megidramon, your level 6 is your Mega, which helps you get a free Gallimon um, from your hand or the trash. So he's all right. He's, he's good to go into when you're not willing to commit to anything because um, he's big. And and when he dies, you know, you get that um, your Gallimon. And I have the ulti, which is really cool. So I have the one ulti and the... I uh, really like the ulti of that. I was really happy I pulled that. Um, yeah, just an amazing card. Um, so if you don't know what he does, um, you may... So when, you, when Digivolving, you may delete one of your other Digimon to delete one of your opponent's level 5 or lower Digimon. And then once per turn, when that happens, basically when something is deleted, um, and so it's not just, you know, when Digivolving, but once per turn, and, or right after you use his when Digivolving effect, um, you may play a level three from your trash without paying its memory cost and on play effects don't activate. So yeah, whatever, but it's really good. Cause you get, you like pop a game on game memory, get them back, stuff like that. And then you can just do, do it again, combos and stuff like that. So really good. And then of course the Megidramon there, um, when Digivolving trash the top five cards off your deck. So he gets cards into your trash, um, so that you can use those abilities, those, those, uh, summoning from the trash abilities and then on deletion if you have a tamer in play uh you you may play a level six card with gallimon in its name from your hand or trash without paying the memory cost so that's kind of cool and he works in red too so he works with red gallimon so that's kind of cool um and then and obviously his on play effect is or well his would be on digivolving effect goes off but it doesn't because he's some summoning is a level six but yeah so those are your seven um for your megas and then we have three Omnimon's War. This guy's so good. Uh, such an amazing card. 
So trash the top three cards of your deck. Uh, then you may play up to two black or purple Digimon cards with play costs of eight or less from your trash without playing the memory. So you can play a Camaramon off that and his effect goes off because it doesn't it doesn't stop their on play abilities. And then you can play like a Retaliation Devimon or a Geomon. And then, yeah, so you can combo, you can play the Chimeramon, play the Geomon. Um, the effect goes off, delete the Geomon, gain a memory, destroy something of your opponents. Now you got Zwart and a Chimeramon on the field and stuff like that. And you can go Chimeramon into, uh, into Chaos Gallimon, put the Geomon back, or, you know, you know, keep doing stuff like that. Put the put a, delete a monster. Put something back on the board. It just the plays are endless, really, and it's really awesome. And so I play three of him. Um, it was really really good. Um, one of the things I other things I might do is if I don't like the Megidramon enough, I could see myself dropping Megidramon for Tactimon. Tactimon's really good, um, and I've seen other people play similar stuff. Uh, I don't know if I'd want to drop all three Megidramons for three Tactimons or if I'd want to, you know, play less level sixes or maybe keep a Megidramon or two in there and play a Tactimon. Um, I'd probably try three Tactimon to begin with and then go from there. But that's another option that I'm thinking about for this deck. So you three level sevens. And then to round off the deck, we have our Tamers. We have three Matt, Memory Tamer and three tie and mat dual tamers um I, th I think a lot of people play four and two but i want to be able to see my memory tamer um this i feel is good i just don't know if i want to play it at four i know you get two memory off each one uh it's just it's just so expensive to pay oh, they, they both are really um the security attack plus one's nice i just feel like uh I like a balance, and I feel like the three for that is really good. Um, so just the six tamers there. And then we have our two Earthshaker and two Mega Digimon Fusion Earthshaker. I feel it is a little bit better than Trump Sword um, because it gives you the ability to get off your effects and still destroy your, your opponent's Digimon, um, and it's cheaper. Uh, and then Mega Digimon Fusion is really cool because uh, it gives you like a one play like a it's like an instant kind of fusion uh gets your level seven out potentially helps you win the game and then but you gotta be careful because if you play this too soon and you can't finish your opponent off or you don't have a lot of resources left in time time your monster goes away and then you could leave yourself open to attack so you gotta be really smart about playing that um so yeah that's it that's the deck profile guys um tell me what you think tell me what you liked uh, I love this this deck. It's a really great deck, and I'm hoping that I can play it for a long time to come. Uh, and I will be having more deck profiles in the future. Um, I'm going to have a black black profile probably soon and a green um, because those decks are done. And then after that, I'll have a red one shortly after. Um, and that'll be the, what I'm playing for this format, at least until BT6 comes out, which we know has been delayed. So uh, looks like that's all the time we have for this video. Uh, if you enjoyed today's content, be sure to smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell for notifications so you don't miss a single minute of the fun. That's all for now, folks.